The assignment for this week is to make your own ASCII art. Uh, there is a document in the lesson plan folder that covers uh, the things that your ASCII art should include. Uh, your code should be contained in the main method. Okay, I've shown you where that's at. You've watched the examples. You need a minimum of eight print statements. So remember, print statements are the system.out.println. It needs to be a minimum of eight characters wide, your ASCII art. It needs to be eight characters wide. You have to have at least 20 characters that aren't spaces. You have to have at least two comments in your code. You need to use proper white space, indenting, and formatting so your code is readable. And come up with a cool picture. Don't just give me a box. Um, it, it needs to be something interesting or you're going to lose some points. Now, you don't have to be an artist to do this. If you go out to the internet, and just do a search for ASCII art, okay, you'll see all kinds of things out there. If you look, especially on Google Images, these are incredible pieces of ASCII art. If you look and zoom in on these, you can see that they're all different characters that take up different amounts of space and they use it for shading. Um, I don't expect, nor do I want, you to do anything this complicated. Look for the simple ones. This one's not so hard. Um, here's a little cat saying meow. Skip the middle finger there. There's Yoda. That, that isn't so hard. Do a simple one. It, just meet those basic requirements. I do not want a hundred lines of code with a bunch of complicated art in it. Okay. Um, lots of examples. Okay. Just make sure you follow the requirements of the project. Uh, when you're done, you can submit your code to me. Actually, just save it on your computer, and we'll cover how to submit it in another lesson.